Hi everybody, oh, welcome. I didn't know if I was gonna make it. Mm -hmm. All right, I was having trouble with my Facebook video, but we did. All right, so happy Sunday, all of you. Welcome, if you're just joining me for the first time and uh, welcome back if you're joining me again. Let us say a quick blessing and we will get started, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty, we are going to start with Libra tonight, and then we're going to go Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ophiuchus, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And so we got started a little bit late this evening, so the midway point should be Aries, and that should be right around 9.05, I would think, somewhere around there. Anyway, let us get started with Libra. I'm going to use this Night Sun Tarot for Libra. Happy birthday, Libra, if it is your birthday today, or if it has been your birthday, or if it's just about to be. I know some people with some Libra birthdays. Alrighty, we got the Seven of Cups for Libra. This is somebody who has a lot of options in front of them and they're trying to make the right decision about what they wanna choose. Um, this card is oftentimes associated with like illusionment or delusionment. Um, it can also just be um, the energy of like shiny objects kind of chasing after something. Let me look a little further here. Crossing that, I have the Four of Swords. Okay, uh-huh. This can be somebody who is experiencing a separation, taking a break, maybe. It's kind of the energy of stepping away from something because, I don't know, it's like checking yourself, checking your version of reality somehow. I have the Justice card that comes out with that, which is your card, Libra. Very good, way to show up for yourself. I like it. Um, but this is the energy of wanting to be fair and balanced, wanting to feel good about yourself. I feel like we have somebody here who's made a decision about a path that they wanna choose. Um, they've had to separate themselves from something else. Um, and it feels like it's worked out well for you, Libra. It feels like this is something you've already done. Now there's this energy of what do I do next though? Um, oh, I'm really excited for whoever you are. Um, hold on. I have the three of cups here, very good. Okay, in the upright position, this can be about reconciliation or reunion. Um, I don't know what this pertains to. This can be pertaining to your career life, your love life, something to do with your family, I don't know. Um, but the three of cups is an energy of bringing people back together, bringing a friend group back together, bringing a family group back together. Um, right now, this month, you're feeling very good about yourself, things are falling into place for you. It just feels like you're unsure of what the future holds and you're hoping to make good choices for yourself. I don't know what this is that you've separated yourself from. Um, it's the Eight of Wands here. We have a lot of fast moving communication coming towards you this month, Libra. Um, whether you're reaching out to people or other people are reaching out to you, you're very popular. People wanna be around you. They wanna be around your energy. I think it's because all of a sudden you're feeling better about yourself for the first time in a while. Oh, this is great news. I like it. I have the Queen of Wands that comes out here. It comes out in the reverse, but I'm turning it on its side for you um, because it kind of feels like you're coming out of a phase where you were dealing with other people who were putting their own needs above your own and it feels like you were burning the candle at both ends, but I feel like whatever this thing is or this person is that you've separated yourself from, it feels like things are starting to come back into balance for you. I think you were over um, overworking yourself. You were overtired. It feels just like... It was starting to get the better of you, and I feel like you have removed yourself from whatever that energy was. And I have the Temperance card here. This is the card of Sagittarius, but this is someone who all of a sudden is starting to regain balance within themselves and um, within their daily routine. I don't know what this was over, oh, I'm gonna get another deck and we'll just find out. Let's use this Chicoli deck. Um, but this um, Temperance card is someone who is starting to make their dreams become a reality for themselves. And I don't know what your goals are for the future here, Libra, but it feels like whatever they are, you're starting to put into place whatever the steps are that are needed to get you there. Let me see here. I 
I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so what I was wondering about when I started pulling these from this deck here is this Four of Swords, this energy of separation. It feels like you've extracted yourself from either a love relationship or something at the very least that you gave a lot of your heart and soul to. This would have been a relationship that you thought you may have been in for the long haul. You had seen a lot of potential for growth here, but whatever happened, you pulled yourself out of that situation. I'm seeing a lot of the color red all of a sudden. I have the Ten of Wands with that. Yeah, there was something, remember I was saying you were so over um, overworked, overtired, overextended, something like that. Um, this Ten of Wands is somebody who feels like they were always having to do everything on their own. Perhaps um, you had a really heavy workload or something or this relationship was just way too emotionally draining. Um, and so you've left it behind. Oh, good. All right. This is wonderful. So I have the four of wands that comes out here. This is that twin flame 1111 awakening card. But beyond that, it's a card of creating stability in your life. It can be about a marriage. It can be about um, just moving towards a divinely guided soulmate union, something like that. Whatever this time is that you're experiencing right now, Libra, um, this will be a time of going after goals that will bring you a lot of satisfaction in the future. And this will be about aligning yourself with the right people at the right time, right place, right time. Good job, I love it. I have the Six of Cups in the reverse that comes out with this. This is somebody who's all of a sudden getting comfortable. <laughs> this is a very unusual reading, Libra. Um, you, I think, are very wise beyond your years, whoever you are, because it seems like you manage loss very well. And I, I know that doesn't sound like a compliment, but it, I mean it to be one, because it seems like you are coming from a perspective that's very stoic. You're not allowing your emotions to get the better of you in situations any longer. It feels like you're learning how to detach yourself from things that don't work for you any longer and you don't allow um, anyone to upset you in the same ways that maybe three or four years ago you would have let them get under your skin. It feels like you've grown a lot into yourself. It feels like you've matured into an energy that is very stable and grounded and you're about to really experience a lot of balance in your life that really is good for your well-being overall. And I have the two of cups in the reverse on top of the six of cups in the reverse. So whatever this situation is that you're letting go of, it feels like it was definitely a soulmate relationship because you've got that out there twice. You've got one, two, three soulmate relationship cards here. Um, I feel like, as I was saying, you've experienced quite a bit of loss in a lot of ways. Everyone does, I know, but it really does feel like in the recent past, you've had to let go of things that you had previously allowed to, I don't want to say define you, but maybe define you, something like that. And I have the Four of Swords in the reverse out again. Okay, so this is like, a, this was almost like a forced separation. You, It feels like you were the one who forced yourself to take a break from whatever this was. And you really had to look at what the codependencies were in you, within you, within this previous dynamic. And that is what is kind of propelling you into this new space where you're just feeling really good and really healthy, like you're making healthy emotional choices for yourself all of a sudden. You're experiencing a lot of emotional growth. This is your birthday month. It feels like you're just gaining a lot of karmic blessings this month, Libra, and it feels like whatever this is that you've removed yourself from, it was the right choice. You knew it was the right choice. You made the right decision, and it all of a sudden is gonna create space for new things in your life, and it feels like you're gonna have a lot of people who wanna come towards you and talk to you this week, Libra. Perhaps it is your birthday. Perhaps people want to wish you happy birthday. But um, also, in addition to that, there are a lot of people who just want to align with you. They say, oh, well, now that you have this space in your life, how about we talk about this? How about we meet up for drinks? How about we get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Something like that. And it feels like you're going to experience a lot of um, happiness and a lot of just regaining balance. That's really what it feels like. You're going to feel like yourself again for the first time in a while, Libra. Happy birthday to you. I will catch up with you next week. Next week, next up, we have Aquarius. And for Aquarius, I'm going to use this um, Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. Alrighty, what do we have for Aquarius? 
I have the world in the reverse. Oh no. All right, the world in the reverse can be someone who's really struggling to move from one phase of their life to the next. It's about a chunky transition time, right? I always say that the most difficult times of our lives are times of transition, getting from one point to another. Think about moving day, right? Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. It's moving from one thing to another, but once we the dust settles and we get it all cleaned up and everything put away and unpacked, everything looks great and we're so happy we've done it. However, getting there's the hard hardest part. So it kind of feels like that may be where you're at this week, Aquarius. I have the nine of wands in the reverse. Shoot. Hold up. Seven of pentacles on its side. One more out. Hold on. And the king of swords in the reverse. There you are, Aquarius. What is going on? Alrighty, so I have the world in the reverse as we were just talking about someone who's really kind of struggling to move on to the next phase. Now this could be your energy or this could be somebody else's. However, I do have the king of swords in the reverse out here. Let me see if I can get um, you a little bit more into the frame there um so you can see these um so i have you represented here with the king of swords in the reverse and that's aquarius libra gemini energy um where you don't know what to do now you're not sure of what to to do next and i feel like you're playing this waiting game with yourself as to where you want to go what you want to do next and this nine of wands energy i'm going to go back in and look at it in just a second a little bit more closely um but the the nine of wands is our wounded warrior card and that's someone who they've they've been hurt a lot in the past and so they put up a lot of walls around themselves but this guy whenever he comes out in the reverse this is somebody who wishes they did that a little sooner because now they've got some damage that they have to um reconstruct in some way now i'm going to clarify with another deck let's use this vice versa tarot here Oh, snap. So I was like, okay, well, how do we clarify this world in the reverse? And to clarify, we, we got the world in the reverse. Um, so, so kicking and screaming is what I hear, or maybe even just confused about which pathway to go down. That could be, um, that could be the case. All right, Aquarius. Um, usually the world card indicates a new, um, a new cycle of your life. We're talking longer cycles, three year cycles, seven year cycles, nine, 10 year cycles, something like that. Something that's gonna be a lengthy time of your life, like choosing um, a retirement home or, um, you know, deciding to get married, something like that. These are major events in our lives that, that linger for very long times. Yes, I've got the lover's card here that comes out on the bottom there too. Um, and it feels like you're just kind of struggling to know where to go in this next phase of this new phase of your life. And there's really, it's very choice oriented. It's like this way, that way, yes, no, in or out, do I stay or do I go? Is that energy here? And you really don't know what to do. It feels like you're very confused about it. You're like, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Okay. Alrighty, hold on. Too much, too much. We've got the Knight of Swords on the bottom though, and that was this energy of um, really fast moving decision making. Um, almost feels like you're about to make a really impulsive decision. I had the Three of Wands in there, which is the minor arcana of the magician. And um, that's somebody who's trying to manifest for their future what it is that they want. Um, but it feels like you're about to make kind of a hasty decision, some of you. That won't apply to everyone, but it's, and I've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Again, to clarify the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Sometimes this is why I moved the camera down to my hand so you can see a little bit more clearly what's going on here. So we're getting a lot of duplicate cards out here for you, Aquarius, which tells me that your energy is very strong and it's very clear. And so if you know how you feel this clearly, you are able to work this out for yourself and you can propel yourself into the future in any direction you want. It's just you don't know which way you want to go. I think that's the issue. So this nine of wands in the reverse is someone who doesn't want to get hurt again. You may have recently um, ended a relationship. 
you may have e recently um, ended some kind of contract at work. This lover's card doesn't always have to indicate a love relationship, but it does indicate having a major choice and oftentimes a major choice in love. Um, as I was saying, are you all in? Are you all out? Do I stay? Do I go? Um, this seven of pentacles was somebody who's waited a very long time to take action. I have the tower that's on the top of the deck here. Um, this is, there was something that happened somewhere how somehow the rug was kind of pulled out from under you or there was some kind of major incident that caused a change in the course of your life's direction in some way with the tower that's what always happens um it's like lightning strikes the tower we have to evacuate and then later we have to rebuild um it's course redirection and I have the Six of Swords. You're trying to decide now um, possibly about a physical relocation with the Six of Swords. Um, there, Whatever this incident was, it feels like it's kind of propelling you in a new direction. You may be having to physically relocate. You may It may feel like you're being forced to in some way. That may be why we have the world in the reverse twice. Um, because as I was saying, this can be someone who's struggling to move into the next phase of their life. And clearly you're not very happy with the situation or you're not happy with another person. You're not happy with a, yourself, something. I don't, you're not happy. <laughs> All right. I have the devil card on top of the king of swords in the reverse. It should be noted that the devil and the lover's card are almost identical. And specific to this vice versa tarot, they even use the same characters to illustrate um, the little homo sapiens down there. Um, I feel like whoever you are, you may be quite, up, again, upset with someone, upset with yourself. Um, the devil can indicate addictions. It can indicate toxicities, something or someone that we chain ourselves to. Um, and it feels like you are being forced to make a choice about leaving this situation behind. Um, and I feel like it's thrown you off balance. And... Um, there's an energy of regret here with this five of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, this could be someone else who's feeling this way about you. Um, you'll have to just decide which side of the coin, if any, you're on here. Oh, you're saying it's equal on both sides with the six of pentacles that comes out there. But really and truly, there's this energy of you having to turn your back on a situation that wasn't allowing you to grow in the way you needed to or having to turn your back on a situation that wasn't as reciprocal or requited as you needed it to be in some way there's some kind of lack of balance here between you and another person or between you and whatever this other dynamic was and I've got the Ten of Wands. You always felt rather alone in this relationship or situation, and it was heavy. It was something heavy. And it was just there was something that got the better of you, something that overwhelmed you, and now I have you in a very restricted state where you're not talking to very many people. Feels like you're very isolated this week for whatever reason, Aquarius. It feels like you're waiting for someone else to reach out and clarify a situation. And it feels like, I feel, I keep getting this energy of you maybe being really hard on yourself right now, Aquarius. Um, and I'm not sure, there's this energy of, it can be, and, and please don't take this, it can be a little bit of a mopey sort of energy kind of vibing. I'm sure maybe there's a reason for that, but it feels like there's just an awful lot of evaluation and reevaluation and like thoughts. It's like very swirling thoughts. It's not typical for you, Aquarius. You're usually so um, quick and very um, to the point and logical and matter of fact and just one, two, three, goal oriented and just whip smart for sure. Um, you're known for it. But for some reason this week, I've got you kind of muddied up and clouded up here. There could be an energy of over drinking here for someone. Um, I have the um, King of Wands in the reverse. Yeesh. Um, that can be someone who feels like they've made poor choices either in love relationships or sexual relationships. 
This could be someone who let their temper get the better of them, something. I mean, it could be one of any of those. They pick one, right? That's the King of Wands in the reverse. It's someone who acts impulsively and then later lives to um, feel regret from it. So I don't know which side of the coin you are here, but how do we make this better for you? That's the whole golly. I have the Empress in the reverse. Um, you may have turned your back on someone or this Empress may have turned their back on you. Um, the Empress is the card of Virgo. It goes right on top of that lover's card. It feels, again, I was saying, it feels like someone who's being forced to make a change of direction. Um, and it feels almost like digging your heels in, not wanting to do it, but it seems like it's kind of been done. I feel like somebody's beating themselves up here and waiting for some kind of communication. I just saw the seven of pentacles flip over again, which is waiting. 10 of cups in the reverse. And now we have a new start. There we go. Um, so there's this, <laughs> oh geez, man. Um, uh, there's this energy of you recognizing or this other person recognizing just an awful lot of loss, heartache, grief, that sort of thing. The 10 of cups should have been everything, you know, it should have been so beautiful, right? But nope, something happened, knocked it all off course. Now we've got two people here. I don't know. It feels very much just your feelings of this are very distraught, upset kind of energy and just not just not having the best week. Some weeks are like that, right? Sure, it comes for, every, comes for all of us at some point. But the, really the beauty of this is Aquarius that it gives you a fresh new start, a fresh new beginning. And it gives you an opportunity to grow in a new direction. I know, I know if this is your reading, you're like womp womp, it doesn't matter Jess, that's not cool. But um, yeah, but still, the Page of Pentacles is kind of, I always call it like the freshman in college card. Like now, now you may begin again, now that you've been beaten down to the ground now you may begin again I had a movement professor in college who used to say stuff like that to us after he'd work us out really hard and oh used to really drive me crazy but anyway now you may begin again is basically the feeling here Aquarius so <sighs> Yeah, I think that you will be glad. I think you're going to start to feel better probably around Friday of next week. There's just going to be a change of, there's something that's going to happen. You're going to end up going out actually, I think next Friday. I think you're going to have a good time. I think you're going to blow off some steam. I think that you just got to have a few days to kind of pull yourself together here, get over whatever this is and figure out how you want to get to the next phase of your life, the next chapter of your life, whatever that's going to look like. I think you want to decide what that's going to look like and I think that I think things are going to shift for you by the end of next week I hope so if this was your reading it was a little rough if we're being real whoever you are hanging there you got a lot of repeat cards in there man um so you're very very smart as we know you are I don't know what's got you off balance whatever this thing was that you were kind of forced to extricate yourself from I think it was important to you and um, I think you're just kind of processing that, processing the loss in some way. Let me move this up here so you're not just looking at my dingy white shirt, right? Okay, let us move on. Thank you, Aquarius, for letting me read for you. Hang in there. By Friday, you'll feel better. I'm my prediction, right? <laughs> All right, next up we have Gemini. We are going to use, let's use this Tarot of Wonderland for Gemini. I haven't used this guy all day. swords um that's the energy it's the minor arcana of the death card it can be an energy of a breakup or an ending something that was painful didn't feel good feels like it's already happened like it's either happening right now or you've already experienced it is how I feel. And it feels like you've experienced it more than one time. Um, this could have been an on again, off again relationship, something like that. I've got the strength card in the reverse and the ace of pentacles in the reverse. It feels like you may have gone back to this person multiple times, back to this situation. Doesn't have to be about love, but it could be. Um, it feels like you went back to this situation multiple times and each time you were presented with the same information of there has been no growth here. This will not grow. Nothing will grow here. This this is not fertile ground. Get out while you can. Beware. But no, you just kept going back. And uh, that's okay. Sometimes you do that until you don't do it anymore. Let's get a couple more cards out. 
Now I have the Ace of Cups coming out on its side. So you learned a lot from whatever this relationship was or whatever this situation was. The Ace of Cups does represent a new love relationship coming towards you. However, really and truly, it's very much representative of the self-love that you have to give to another person. Basically, and I love this representation. This is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. I love that the Ace of Cups has two cups in it. It's the energy of, I give you a full cup of something and in return, you give me your full cup of something and you can't extend that to another person fairly until yours is full. I know. Um, true, right? So it feels like whatever this situation was that you were kind of bouncing back and forth in and not really feeling so great about it. and every single time that it came up it damaged you a little bit further and further and there was like the red flags kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger um finally you figured it out and you learned that that wasn't an energy that you wanted to have in your life anymore and it seems like you chose to end it here let's look yep Five of Cups, perfect. I love this represent, I love this deck. This is such a great little deck. So this Five of Cups, if, if you look closely, no matter how long she reaches for those cups, it wouldn't even matter if she finally got up to them after she worked really hard to get there, they still wouldn't have what she needed in them no matter what. And so it feels like you kind of kept, it's almost like beating a dead horse with whatever this was. And you're acknowledging that. And you're also acknowledging how long you allowed yourself to stay in this situation, whatever it was. And you're really looking hard at that this week, it feels like, Gemini. I've got the Ace of Wands. Oh, good. So you've got actually three out of the four Aces out here, Gemini. Um, granted, one is in the reverse, but these two are in the upright. Now, the Ace of Wands is very sexually passionate. It's very creatively charged. It is the most foul lit card we have in the entire deck. It can indicate a new passionate love relationship coming towards you. Whenever we have this with the Ace of Cups as well, I'm going to put those together. How about that? Then we have something that we can grow with, all right? Or at least we have a, we have a brand new start coming towards you Gemini let's get another deck let's use um, let's use this Mary no I don't wanna no, 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 no. let's use this artist inner vision tarot coming out perfect all right we have a brand new beginning and the brand new beginning comes from how much you have evolved emotionally Gemini emotionally intellectually even socially I'm just actually pretty excited for you this is a lot of transformation coming towards you um this is a brand new beginning this is stepping off on a new journey it feels like especially with all of these aces in here you finally see what doesn't work for you you can say to yourself if i ever see that coming i'll recognize it and i'll run the other way it's just like this new sense of um authenticity within yourself and strength as well and it feels like you're kind of off to the races with something brand new do Tell me more. I have the King of Cups. Yep, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is probably someone coming towards you, Gemini. This is somebody who um, is very emotionally, well, emotionally available because the king of cups is not always known for expressing their emotions although they do have lots of them um but this would be someone coming towards you that you're gonna feel very emotionally drawn to and there will be an energy of attraction to this person as well you will have something in common and it there will be like a spark whenever you meet this person you'll be intellectually um entertained by this person and then look here we have this cup this person has this full cup right here over their head and it feels like this person is prepared to meet you in the same way you're prepared to meet them i don't think you've known this person before now i have the prince of Pen the um knight of pentacles here which is someone who they're working towards creating gold. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. This person, whenever you meet them, 
they may be growing a business of their own or they may be, I don't wanna say entry level so much as someone who's working their way up within a corporation or someone who's steadily growing something, growing financial wealth for themselves or growing some kind of career for themselves. Uh, this is someone who is very slow moving and very stable. Um, Wow, but they have a very big heart and they're very emotionally mature, I think, in a way that you are not used to. I have the Four of Wands that comes out with that. That's that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card. Um, this is a card of marriage. This is a card of stability. This can be an energy of um, being in the right place at the right time. This is something that belongs to you on a spiritual path. It's a divinely guided soulmate card. Um, so this is your reading for the week, Gemini. It looks really good. It feels like you've grown a lot. And I'm not saying this is gonna happen specifically this week, but what's presenting for your energy this week, Gemini, is someone who's grown a lot emotionally from um, whatever this thing is that you have finally been strong enough to walk away from. Once you have done that, and once you recognize yourself within the 50% of the equation of whatever this was, it kind of makes space, and you end this, it makes space for this brand new beginning that allows this new person to come towards you. And it feels like a fresh start. You know how we were talking about um, the world card in the Aquarius reading just a moment ago? Um, well, the, the world card's the final card in the major arcana of a deck of Tarot, and the fool card is the very first, number zero, in the major arcana of a deck of Tarot. This is the whole, this is the fool's journey is a deck of, of Tarot, right? It chronicles the journey of the fool right or the hero whichever you want to call it um and so this is you this week gemini very very good all right much love to you guys that was your reading for the week and uh it looks good i wish i was you it looks beautiful all right see you soon next up we have virgo first of our earth signs and for virgo let's use this hush tarot why not Queen of Cups on its side for Virgo. All right, Queen of Cups is someone who, well, let's look a little bit further here because that can be a couple of things whenever it comes out on its side like this. Let's see. Okay, you're kind of trying to decide where your heart lies, how you're feeling about a situation. Um, you may just be trying to decide what's going to work for you or what isn't going to work for you. I have the four of swords here, which is that energy of separation. It can be the energy of taking a break from someone or a situation. This is somebody who wants to step away and look at something um, from a distance and decide if it's something that they want to continue to pour any emotion or of any of their heart into. Very wise. I have the five of pentacles here. Hold on. And I have the five of cups. Oh, so we got two fives on there. Fives are typically, for me, the energy of like fives is um, chaos and conflict that bring about a lot of change in a person's life. Sometimes it's necessary for growth, right? Um, but this five of pentacles is someone who feels like something may be lacking. It can be financial lack. It can be um, emotional um, lack of emotional support. This five of cups, which we had present above in the... Um, I think it was the Aquarius and the Gemini reading both, um, where it's, we talked about um, the energy of reaching for things that are never gonna give you what you need. Um, and I think whoever you are, Virgo, you're someone who's very thoughtful. You may meditate a lot, you may pray a lot. I feel like you may be someone who asks for guidance um, and you, you may be asking for guidance this week in a situation. I don't feel like you're particularly overly emotional about this at this point, Virgo. It just feels like you're taking stock of the options in whatever this situation is and deciding as to whether or not you want to pursue it any further.
I have the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're looking at timing issues. You're looking at um, you're looking at is this the right thing for me? You're someone who actually has a lot of good luck coming towards you really, really soon. Okay, Virgo, and it feels like you're starting to push yourself into the directions that you want to see yourself going in. It feels like you've started figuring out that the more energy you put towards a situation, the faster it starts to manifest into your life in whatever way that is for you, and it feels like you're about to experience um, a major change of, I don't know, just a change in the wind for you in some way. And it feels like it's going to be really positive. And now you're kind of taking stock of what it is that you want to take with you, who it is you want to take with you into this next phase. And I have the King of Cups that comes out on its side too. And look, it's a true pair here with this Queen and King of Cups. I think that you're wanting to be very careful as to who you align with if you are single. If you are already partnered, it feels like... It feels like you're trying to rediscover one another in some way. In any case, you have this energy of a match that is very positive coming towards you. Um, and sometimes if this is you taking a break from whatever this relationship is with this King of Cups energy is here, um, it would be good for you too because somehow it seems to change the dynamic of this relationship in one way or another. So whenever I have cards that come out on their sides, as a reader, for me, that means that the energy is somewhat changeable based upon where you choose to throw your energy. I always think of the Wheel of Fortune as like a hamster wheel, right? Depending upon which direction the hamster chooses to jog its little legs in, is what way the wheel spins. And I think that you know that. I think the other person on the other side of this knows that. I think there is some experience of loss or separation here for you. Um, and it feels like it's coming at the perfect time where you are wanting to make decisions about what you want to do for the future. And I'm going to use this um, Night Sun Tarot to clarify. have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. There could have been some kind of verbal altercation here. Um, Virgo, just it, the Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone who speaks without thinking or they can be very unkind or very cutting with their words if they aren't careful. And this, uh, I don't know if that came from you or this other person. That could have been what caused this separation. I don't feel like you're being very overly emotional about this yet. <laughs> and now I have the King of Swords. Holy smoke. So we've got two pairs out here. Um, it seems like neither person in this dynamic, there's a lot of mirroring going on here. Okay. Um, it seems like neither person said very nice things to one another. <laughs> I have the nine of cups that comes out here. Here's the thing though, both of you wish for one another. I feel like there was something that happened. If this is, if we're talking about a romantic relationship here, Virgo, um, I feel like somebody just kind of hijacked this. I feel like there was something that happened that was rather damaging between the two of you and it caused a separation. It caused a rift um, in some way. Um, and I feel like there's about to be a shift in this dynamic one way or the other. Um, both of you wish for one another for healing in this situation. And in fact, both of you, I think, are quite prayerful about this situation. Now I have the Queen of Pentacles. Man, there are a lot of court cards on here. I don't know if I have a lot of people involved in this situation or if you both are just very much the very mature or if, um, oh my goodness. Um, now I have the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, okay, all right, okay.
Alrighty, and I have the Six of Cups here. Okay, so we're talking about a soulmate dynamic here with the Six of Cups. This could be a past life, love relationship, someone you were married to, someone you would have grown old with, someone you've grown up with, something like that. Okay, Virgo. Um, it feels like whatever the situation is here, we've got some kind of a separation. We're about to have a major change that happens where we're either bringing in a whole lot of people to work on some kind of a team um, here, or if we're talking about a love relationship that's gone through some kind of a separation, it's happened because we've had some kind of verbal altercation where two people were not very nice to each other. And although they are still wishing for one another, they are definitely mirroring one another here. The only difference between these two people is we have an energy of superiority that comes with this. And I don't mean superiority in a negative way. I just mean um, there's this energy of this Queen of Pentacles feeling like they do more than this Knight of Pentacles. Um, this Queen of Pentacles energy is someone who feels like they're always having to give more than they're receiving. They're feeling like they're giving more than this Knight of Pentacles energy. And Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. That's you. All right. So it feels like you've given your heart and soul to a situation and still experienced some kind of separation. It feels like both of you are praying about this situation because you both want this to improve. Um, and it feels like there's an opportunity for change here, but we're going to have to change the dynamic because this Knight of Pentacles can't stay the Knight of Pentacles and stick with this... Um, Queen of Pentacles here. They're going to have to up their game a little bit. They're going to have to mature a little bit faster. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck of Tarot. So good luck. But that is kind of the energy that we need to see here. And that's kind of where you're sitting right now this week. It seems like, Virgo, that there's just this energy of hope and hope for change. And it feels like you've prayed about this situation. And ultimately, I have the Ace of Cups here. This is somebody who recognizes this soulmate relationship for exactly what it is. I think you're going to stick it out with this person. However, I think you're going to ask them to simply start um, start doing more, whether it's financially or whether it's more around your environment, whatever that means for you. Um, and if this is an energy of someone who is not in a partner relationship, it feels like you've taken a break from something or someone just to kind of reevaluate, possibly working on a team. And it feels like there may be an awful lot of people coming to work with you in a situation that is about to be propelled forward for you. Um, this was this was an interesting reading. I have to be honest. It was very cool. I liked it, Virgo. Um, but this, um, this Ace of Cups is all about self-love, self-reflection, and a lot of growth within yourself. I think that you are very wise. You're very mature, but you oftentimes more is required of you than other people. It feels like you're always having to be the nurturer. You're always having to be the one that picks up the pieces after the mistakes have been made by others. And I think that it's worn you down. I think you're tired of it. And I think there was some kind of altercation where you may have expressed this to um, a partner or a friend or loved one or something. And um, then I think there was some kind of a fallout about that. And I think that there's just this energy of you wanting more um, from someone else. All right, that was your reading for the week. I will catch up with you guys next week. Thank you, Virgo. Next up, we have Capricorn. Um, Capricorn, let us use this Deviant Moon Tarot for you. Why don't we? Capricorn. I got the Queen of Wands out. That is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This could be your energy this week. This could be somebody that has their eye on you. Um, the Queen of Wands is the energy of being very sexually attractive, very magnetic, someone who's very beautiful, someone who's very well liked. All their jokes are funny. They're very popular. This feels like you this week. Good job. This would be a good week to get out there and meet new people if you are a single person. And I got the Queen of Swords on its side. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So we've got two queens. And I've got the two of wands. You may be trying to choose between two people. Um, you may just have... There's, the Two of Wands to me is a very lusty card. It's a very much a seeking partnership kind of energy. This is somebody who feels like they have a lot to offer another person and they're simply waiting on the right person to join them. It feels like you may have a choice in love this week, possibly. Um, you may have two options coming towards you or you may just be thinking very hard about what you want for the future.
I have the Three of Swords, which is this energy of a breakup. Um, hmm. Uh, Three of Swords, I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck. It comes for all of us some point, right? Right. Um, it, it represents heartache, grief, and pain, right? Uh, so it feels like this may have happened perhaps with one of these energies or something like that. Yeah, I have the lovers in reverse. Wow. All right. Okay, lovers is the card of Gemini, but whenever we have the lovers in the reverse, this is having had to make a difficult choice when it comes to love. Um, it feels like you may have had to choose between two people. All right, sometimes that happens, I guess. All righty, let me get another deck to clarify. Let's pick this one up since it already has the lovers in the reverse on the top of the deck, and we'll just put that out there, okay? And shuffle these real quick. So... The lovers is a card of choice. Are you all in? Are you all out? If I choose this one person, I get to choose. I get to keep that person, but not any of the other options and vice versa. So it feels like you were forced to make a decision. It feels like you may have made one. And how did that go for you? I got the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Crap. <laughs> um, this is somebody who feels like they've and maybe you're on the opposite side of this. You know that, Capricorn? Because I don't really see you represented here. I see two other people. Maybe, I don't know what your situation is here, but really and truly, this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is somebody who feels like they are at a standstill. Like they may have stepped in a big pile of karmic shit. Like, you know, things are falling apart in their life in some way, or that they just kind of can't get the ball rolling for whatever reason. Man. I get the page of pentacles. All right. This is somebody who says, wipe the slate clean. I want to start all over again. It feels like this is past energy now. This feels like it's something that was done and over with some time ago. It feels like you have established some new boundaries in your life in some way. And now you're really looking in a new direction. I think this is where we actually need to start your story here, Capricorn, because it feels like whatever this situation was with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy, it feels like it was done a while ago. And it feels like you've been sitting in this stagnated space for quite some time because of it, waiting for this brand new beginning, almost waiting for something to present itself as a choice for you. And a choice probably for a partnership and love in some way. But right now is when I feel like you're actually starting to be ready to offer yourself to another person. This is now the time that is right for you to start extending yourself in some way and it feels like in the past it just wasn't the right timing and it feels like that may be why you were having trouble aligning with the right people yeah i have the chariot card here which is um telling me it's time for you to move on it feels like these are your words for yourself um you're no longer being tethered to the same location any longer it feels like you could move if you wanted to you could um actually physically relocate if you wanted to but there's this energy of moving on because you know you can't stay here right it's just it's crumbling behind you and so there's this energy of time to get up and time to get moving and so that wheel of fortune in the reverse i'm actually going to turn it into the upright because i feel like now that you've made this realization this is somebody who says okay well what do i want to do next now i understand that i am in control of my own destiny and i have the four of pentacles in the reverse this is somebody who says i can let go now it's okay, I'm not so afraid any longer. This is somebody, this is somebody who for the longest time really second guessed themselves a lot. They, they kind of had themselves kind of stuck in a rut, kind of stuck in a rut, kind of not a lot of growth for a while perhaps. And I don't know what that means for you, but if, that, if this is your reading, you'll say yes, that would be right. Um, but it feels almost like you've lit a fire under your own ass <laughs> in a way. Um, this is somebody who says, and it's time to go. Time to go now. Get out now. Get up and go. 
Get up and move before your skirt lights on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what you're saying here. Judgment card is the alarm clock card. It's time to go. It's the wake up call, right? And it feels like you're ready to get a move on. I think there's a lot of energy that's coming towards you this week, Capricorn. I think you're going to be really happy to receive it. I think it's going to feel good. I think that by, I think that by like tomorrow, you're going to be feeling this. I think that whatever this space was that you've moved out of where you had to make a difficult choice in love in some way I think you've actually moved through it and I think that um, it's a relief I think it's a relief for you to let yourself go from this to separate yourself from these energies whatever they were and I think that now you're able to move forward I think that wheel of fortune is going to start turning faster now and I think it's going to happen by like right now all right thanks for letting me read for you Capricorn next up we have Taurus let me turn our music back on I noticed it went off Alrighty, next up we have Taurus. Alrighty, let's use this Chicoli deck for Taurus. Whoop, no, maybe. Sorry about that, that was a messy shuffle. Alrighty, Taurus. Three of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who says, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Um, this feels like, <clears throat> excuse me, all of a sudden, it feels like someone's kind of blindsided someone else, almost like had the rug pulled out from under them in some way. Um, there's been kind of an upset. <clears throat> And I don't think you're expressing yourself well about it. I've got the Ace of Wands on its side. I've got the Hierophant on its side. And I got the Queen of Swords on its side. This could be a couple of different things. I'm going to clarify with another deck before I even say anything about it. Because um, cause I got to. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. I'll do them all at once. Hold on. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So... Again, I'm going to grab another deck real quick, like, and it's going to be this um, Star Power Tarot. It feels like, so the Three of Wands is the minor arcana of the magician for me as a reader. And that's someone who usually is pretty large and in charge of their own destiny. However, and, and this Three of Wands is a big, heavy energy of manifestation, right? Um, it's knowing that what you want for the future is right for you and bringing that into your life, your three-dimensional life, right? But whoever I'm reading for, all of a sudden, it feels like the things that you've manifested for yourself have kind of taken a turn for you in some way. And they're no longer the dreams that you thought they were going to be. I've got the 10 of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is something that was maybe, I, I kept getting the impression that this might be work related in some way. Although I have a lot of heavy love cards here, which is why I was saying I need more clarification before I can really start this because the three of wands, I keep adjusting this. Sorry. Um, this, um, 10 of wands is somebody who can be very much overworked. This is somebody who could be, um, burning the candle at both ends, like complete exhaustion, like begging for less. And with this ace of wands I was I was noticing like possible tummy irritation um possible indigestion or acid reflux acid buildup um from stress and this five uh, or excuse me this um hierophant can, is the energy of contracts that have been signed um commitments heavy commitments it's a card of marriage it's a card of um traditional by the book kind of um energies and situations and this queen of swords here is somebody who has to start talking about how they're feeling um as i was saying whoever is going through whatever this situation is i don't think you're expressing yourself like your true feelings about this um whether it's to a superior or to a partner whoever it is i think it's become kind of an overwhelming situation for you now with this six of cups which is um a soulmate relationship it kind of represents um having to let go of something that you had really put a lot of your heart and soul and your energy and your time into. And it feels like it's work related because of this eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles is about a workplace dynamic typically. Um, and with this justice card that comes out on top, this is the energy of someone, again, contracts being represented here, or um, just this energy of fairness and balance that is not present in whatever this environment is, which will, it could be what is, um, 
causing you to say, man, this is just not what I signed up for. And I get kind of like this cringy feeling um, and vibe about it where you could be having a lot of, again, anxiety, stress, worry. And this nine of pentacles is someone who all of a sudden says, um, I want to be single. I want to be independent. I want to be on my own. I want to be released from a contract is what somebody is saying here this week. And I've got the Ten of Cups. And honestly, Taurus, I think that you actually know what's best for you in this situation. I think that you're someone who remembers what it felt like to be at peace at one point. And I think that you have seen enough of whatever this situation is to say, I don't think that's right for me. I think that um, being on my own, being single, being independent, whatever that means for you in this situation is going to bring you more happiness. And I think you understand that. And I think that you're willing to let go of whatever this is yeah I've got the death card that comes out with that very good that's the card of Scorpio but it is in fact death which is an ending that is painful and challenging but it is necessary for growth and transformation right um, it does not feel so good but it is sometimes necessary, all right? And I think that there is this huge heaving sigh of relief that comes to you this week, Taurus, when you make this decision in your mind. It feels like you are asking, asking to be released from a contract in some way. I think it's just proven to be way too much for you. And I think you sucked it up for way longer than you probably needed to. Yeah, because you were committed. You wanted to give your whole entire self to it, but ultimately it feels inflammatory and it feels toxic within your muscles. And I've got the page of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who doesn't feel like they're qualified to do as much as, as what they are doing. They don't feel like they have the energy for it. Or this is somebody who wishes that they had made different commitments, different choices to the commitments that they made. Um, and this is somebody who recognizes that by dropping this one contract, dropping this one situation, like there is so much relief that comes from it. And it feels like someone who's having to type up an email this week or type up a text message, something like that, or put pen to paper or have a challenging conversation about this. And I've got the star card. That's the card of Aquarius. This is somebody who, um, I hate to say it, but it feels like leaving something behind in to go in search of one's hopes and dreams. Um, but I don't mean for it to sound so frivolous. I think this is somebody, I think that you're just someone who knows that you're meant for more. I think that you know that there's a better life for yourself or there's a better situation, one that is not so fraught with this amount of stress. Whatever this is that you want to relieve your, remove yourself from. Okay. And I think I always call the star card Pandora's box. You know, it's just part, it's something that belongs to you. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly of what makes you, you. And I think that you're kind of ready to start pursuing some of those things that are more authentic to you, representative of you. That's why we have this nine of pentacles, which is that minor arcana of the empress. This is someone who wants to grow their own empire. They want to start their own business. They want to be on their own. It's a very single, independent, non-codependent kind of card. And I think that that's where you sit this week. And I've got um, the seven of wands here. This is somebody who feels like they have to stand their ground in this situation. I feel like you've wanted to remove yourself from this situation for a while, but because you don't like, um, you don't want to deal with the conflict. You haven't wanted to deal with the conflict. And so you've been kind of just giving 110% for way too long. And I think it's finally gotten the better of you. And I think that you're finally saying enough is enough. I have to make a change. I'm the only person who can make this change. And so I think you do. I think it's not the easiest conversation to have, not the easiest email to send. Um, but I think that your stability, your happiness, um, your lack of acid indigestion is a good reason to reach out and push the send button. All right, much love to you. Thank you for letting me read for you this week, Taurus. Next up, we have Aries, first of our fire signs. Aries, let us use this heaven and earth to row for you. Oh, I 
got the hangman out for you, Aries. What you waiting on here? Uh, waiting for the three of cups, waiting for some kind of reconciliation. Okay, so the hangman is the card of Pisces, but this really does feel representative of your energy, Aries. First card out is always the strongest energy, right? Um, and then we have this three of cups, which is all about reconciliation. We have somebody here who is purposefully taking some time to consider what it is they want to do about this. I don't know if you've been in a time of separation from someone, friend, fr it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, it can be friendship, family, something like that. Um, and just kind of, you may be just waiting for some kind of reunion. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I have the world in the reverse for you guys. And this is somebody who's struggling to move to a new space. This is somebody who's struggling to move on from one phase to the next. Although it's, it's not that so much. It's your, you're having to wait to do that. It, it's almost like this energy of having to wait for a contract to go through so that you can move into a new house or having to, it's, it's just waiting for the right time. It feels like you have more than enough patience. You've had more than enough patience. You've had, um, you've given a lot to this situation. You've waited plenty of time. There's, I don't get the sense that you're tremendously impatient for this. What? Why bring it up at all? Let's look a little bit further. What's the, what's this? Mm hmm Okay. So I have the sun in the reverse. I see. Okay. So this is waiting for reconciliation with another person. And it feels like with the sun, the sun is the card of Leo. The world is the card of Libra. Um, but this in the reverse, it feels like you're struggling to move on because you haven't healed this situation yet. This is why you're hoping for a reconciliation or someone else in your immediate environment is hoping for some kind of reconciliation with you, Aries. Um, because it feels like there are, it's unfinished business unfinished business. Can we just call this whole pile unfinished business? Let's slide that unfinished business over there. Okay. Wow. Somebody has arisen. We have, in fact, um, resurrection. So we've got reconciliation and resurrection. Nicely done, Aries. Um, this is the judgment card. I always call it the alarm clock card. Time to wake up. Time to get a move on. Now you see the truth. Time to get moving. So we have this coming up for you. Let me get another deck to clarify. Let us use the Mary El Tarot. Where are you headed with this, Aries? Let's see. All of a sudden, we have this real balanced energy here that's really in the center of your reading here. Let me move this down a little bit. All right, so you can see a little bit more clearly here. Right in the center of your reading, we have this Six of Pentacles here, which really indicates balance. And it feels like this balance wasn't here before, which is why it kind of sits on top here. And on top of that here, we have the Sun card that is you recognizing that there's still unfinished business, but healing that needs to be done in order for this reconciliation to happen. Now, with this Judgment card that did come out in the upright position, um, it feels like... It's time for you to take action or it's time for this other person to take action in this situation. You'll know which side of the coin you are here depending upon uh, which role or character you play in this story. I have the Hermit card that comes out here on its side. Very similar energy to this Hanged Man where we have actually had you um, being really prayerful about this situation or this other person being very prayerful about this situation. The Hermit card is someone who um, they go into a deep meditative state so that they can kind of commune with a higher power and find out um, that it's an energy of surrender. I don't know what to do in this situation. Therefore, I surrender. I need guidance. I need help from a higher power. It feels like you were this other person um, waited for some kind of divine inspiration, some kind of divine timing. It looks like that is about to happen. Um, what is, who is, tell me all the things. I got the five of wands here. Oh man. Whoever is, whoever this hanged man energy who's been waiting for a while to take action here, whoever that is, um, it feels like you've, they've, you or they have really examined the pros and cons of reaching out to a person or reconciling with this individual. 
but it feels like someone just simply cannot move on until they've cleared the air in, in this situation. Knight of Wands in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who could have been promiscuous. They could have been dodgy. They could have been noncommittal, something like that. Um, this Ace of Cups in the reverse is someone who um, they didn't give their whole heart or they didn't give very openly of themselves or they may have manipulated a person. They may have misused their um, sexuality or something like that in a situation and they feel it has caused damage or something like that and they want to something like that um, and there's this energy of needing to heal something before they can move on to the next phase of life it's it's yeah this is someone who's very serious they're taking this very seriously whatever this is i've got the high priestess which is pretty much the counterpart here over here to this um hanged man um and hermit we've got all these heavy hitter spiritual cards here um this high priestess is someone who has a an inner knowing they could be a psychic or a healer or someone who um you've always known the truth about the situation. Um, this is someone who's highly telepathic, has a lot of psychic abilities and gifts. Um, this could be you, this could be the other person. There's always been this inner knowing that you were meant to know this person for some reason. And probably so that um, uh, there's been a lot of spiritual growth that's happened since you or they have met you, you know, until since you guys have come into contact with one another. That's good. And we've got the, oh, and a lot of, a whole lot of stress and anxiety and worry too. <laughs> All right. Um, and so there has been a lot of, I feel like this was kind of a high drama situation, which is probably what propelled you into a state of separation in the first place, which is why you want to reconcile now, I guess, because somebody just wants to heal it. They want to get it over with. It's like rip the bandaid off so, or, or whatever it is, something so that something can begin to heal again. I'm not sure. Here, hold on. Two of swords. Oh, now we're at a crossroads. And I've got the Knight of Swords here. This is somebody who is probably about to make some kind of impulsive decision. I don't know if this is you or if this is another per the other person um, where they're going to reach out and say something pretty quickly. And I think that's where this two of swords comes out, where I say now we're at a crossroads. Now we've got a decision that we have to make. Now we have to make a choice for some reason. Um, I don't feel like this person's coming back towards you um, necessarily romantically. I'm not seeing so much of like romantic love here as I'm just seeing a lot of... Um, wanting to clear the air, wanting to fix something, wanting to heal something like what for once and for all. Uh, yeah, I've got the King of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who feels really badly about something that they have done in the past. This is somebody who feels badly about the way they treated your heart or um, how they treated your reputation, something like that. Um, how they something. Um, and this person has kind of been sitting on these feelings for a while. And I think that it's gotten the better of them. I think they've asked for guidance. And I think that um, now they're probably going to reach out pretty quickly and just want to make sure that you're doing okay with this situation. I don't know how you're going to feel about them. Um, let's ask, shall we? <laughs> Five of Pentacles, oh man. Hold on. Okay, so normally I would say that the Five of Pentacles is like too little, too late. But when it's specific to this Marielle Tarot, the Five of Pentacles can be allowing someone in. It can be, a, a, it's a sense of vulnerability. And I think that you are inclined to allow this person in. Although with this Wheel of Fortune energy, I think you're saying it's still not good timing for me for whatever reason. Um, or this person is saying that to you. And I think that's why, I, and I... I think that you're remembering the way that things, what? 
I've got the magician in the reverse. Um, it's either, so you'll have to, again, decide which character you play in this story, if at all, Aries. Um, but it's like, there's, there was an energy of heavy um, manipulation before from one or the other of you. And there's this energy of a lack of trust. And I think that that is kind of what you want to address. Um, if this person reaches out to you or if you reach out to this person, I think that's the energy that you want to address. Um, the Magician is the card of Ophiuchus for me. Um, it's also the card of Aries for some readers as well. Um, it can be that you feel like you manipulated this other person and you've been waiting to have the right words to say to kind of heal this situation or to reach out and apologize to somebody or this person may be feeling that way about you one or the other of you or perhaps both of you have a highly telepathic connection um one or the other of you or both of you is like very intuitive very psychically developed um there's just a real heavy emphasis on maybe having known one another in a past life or something having some kind of spiritual connection i think that if you reach out and have this conversation with this person or if they to you um there's not this energy of so much reconciliation as just almost like rehabilitation or um peace and balance being restored i want to turn the sun into the upright position for you and i feel like this is a communication that's going to come around for you probably around thursday of this coming week that's what i'm looking at here for whatever reason um but this energy is someone it's it's something to be celebrated regardless of how it goes it's just this energy of now we can just kind of move on it's an energy like that. It's it's like that. All right. So um, do let me know if that was your reading because it was rather specific and kind of interesting. So um, much love to you guys. I'll catch up with you next week, Aries. Um, next up, we have Leo. And Leo, I'm going to use this Chicoli deck for you guys. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put those back in. All right, I have the Queen of Swords in the reverse for Leo. So that's someone who's having to write something, say something, speak up in a way that they wish they didn't have to. Um, it feels like something has upset you, Leo, and whatever it is, you, you feel like it's your job, your duty, your responsibility to say something about it. Uh, let's look. I've got the Ace of Wands that comes out with that. Sorry, I'm a little messy with this deck tonight. I don't know what that's about. Um, this Ace of Wands is, hold on, let me get another. There we go. Nine of Cups. This is somebody, I think you might be choosing to part ways with someone or something, I think, in order to follow your dreams. Um, yeah, I know. I, I know that sounds crazy, but follow your dreams in the sense of start something new. I think that you are ending one thing so that you can create space for something else. Um, this Ace of Wands is very sexually passionate. It's very creative. Um, it's something that like sparks a new, oh, um... I don't know, some kind of new inspiration within you, some kind of new excitement, something that you want to get out of bed and get out of bed for in the morning. All right. Um, and I feel like you should have that. I think you should have a life that, and I, I know it's not going to happen every single day, but I think you should strive to have a life that you're excited to get out of bed for in the mornings. Right. I think you know that. Um, and I think that you're having to tell someone the truth about, I think it's time for me to move on. I think it's time for me to let this situation go. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. And I'm not saying you have to leave your career or something of 50 years or something like that. Some of you might be. Um, but... It's just an energy of needing to make a major change and expressing yourself. And whatever that is, it leads to a tremendous amount of satisfaction and wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. And I have the Six of Cups because you're moving towards some kind of soulmate happiness, some kind of soulmate relationship, or something that is much more authentic to you. And this is where things do kind of take a turn towards the love relationship. So I don't know. I feel like this is this may be two separate scenarios in your life this week, Leo. Um, I have the Two of Pentacles that comes out in the reverse underneath that. Hold on one second. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So um, you may be, uh, I almost said monarch, um, but you may be, um, I, I have the Empress card out here. This is somebody who's usually in charge. They could be um, a boss, a mentor, a mother, someone who's very nurturing, someone who's in charge of a lot, someone who's responsible for a lot. I have the Ten of Swords here that bridges both of these stories between the two of them. Um, and it feels like having to let go of something so that, yes, you know, I said initially like having to chase your, getting to chase your dreams or something. It does kind of play out like that. Um, with this Ten of Swords, this is somebody who um, acknowledges that it's time to let this situation go. You probably should have a long time ago for whatever reason you didn't. You hung in there as long as you did and now you're seeing that it's still in fact time to move on. And so I think that that puts you in the position of possibly having to disappoint some people, possibly um, causing a little bit of upheaval here with this Two of Pentacles in the reverse because you removing yourself from this situation does cause a lot of balls to fall out of the air. Yeah, because um, you were keeping a lot of things up in the air. You were doing a lot of the work. You had a heavy responsibility, a heavy load, heavy responsibility on your shoulders, okay? But you are choosing to move forward in your life and move on towards something that actually brings you a lot of emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. Whether this is another person, whether this is another career or just another home, I don't know. Um, let me get another deck because it looks very, very positive. I'm pretty happy for you. Let's use this traditional Rider weight. Let's do. I have the Knight of Swords. Man, it goes right on top of this Queen of Swords, which is again, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but this is someone who wants to make very quick action. They want to take action quickly. This is, you may have a new offer that's coming towards you and it's like, act now, um, act fast. Like I have to act quickly. Um, this Knight of Swords is somebody, whenever they come out on their side, um, they're making an impulsive choice, but I don't think that this is so much impulsive as just something that you've thought about for a long time and you know that now is the right time. I'm pretty excited for you, actually. I have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, you were worried about what this was going to do to you financially. I think that you've stopped worrying about it. I think you've say, you're have say you saying, you know, it, it kind of doesn't matter. I, I feel like I'm going to be fine no matter what. Um, I think that there's this, I think that there's part of you that is kind of freaking out because you haven't planned for this, maybe financially, or you haven't planned for this, like as far as your home life goes or this change, whatever this is going to be. Um, and... I think that you're just kind of counseling yourself to calm down. It's going to be okay. Let's not fret about things that haven't happened yet. I think that you're learning to trust your instincts, trust those gut instincts. And I think you're starting to follow them. And I think you're saying to hell with it. I, I'm sure I'm going to be fine. I just need to make this space in my life. Yes, for this 10 of pentacles, um, or excuse me, 10 of cups. Um, this is absolute wish fulfillment. I think that you know this is coming towards you, Leo, and I think you can instinctively tell that in order to have room for this to come into your life, I mean, that's a lot of cups, right? We gotta have a lot of cupboards to put a lot of these cups in, and so you're gonna have to make room for this, and you can't keep everything. You do have to let some people and some situations go from your life at times in order to make room for something. Thing new. I have the hanged man. You waited a long time to make this decision. Um, this justice card came out, which is the card of Libra. This tells me this is probably the month that you choose to do this. Okay, Leo. And it feels like you can tell this is the right time. Um, th there's some kind of communication that comes in here for you that tells you this is the right time to do this. You waited for this and it's here now is the time. I think that you're not going to hesitate. I think that other people may judge this as impulsive action. I think you've thought about it for a long time. I think that this is just the week that you start sharing sharing it with other people. Um, there will be some fear of you um, maybe letting other people down or um, things being a little bit chaotic in the wake of this um, information, but I think that it's going to be okay. I think people are going to pull it together. I think you're going to pull it together, and I think that you're just ready, uh, ready for the change. All right, that was your reading for the week. Leo, next up we have Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let us use, let's use this tarot of, yeah, okay, tarot of Wonderland for Sagittarius. It 
Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Very good. Mm -hmm. It must be, um, must be the week for the fire signs. This is, again, highly sexually passionate. Very um, phallic card. Very um, inspired, creatively driven, um, sacral chakra energy kind of week for you. Good job. Um, this is something that is a spark that grows and grows and grows into something that is like a wildfire. Um, not in a negative way. Oh, sweet. You've got the Ace of Pentacles out with that. Um, and this is my favorite card to get in any reading, whether it's a love reading, career, financial, family, whatever. The Ace of Pentacles is something you can invest in. It's authentic to you. You can take this, um, know that it's going to be profitable. Um, whatever this is, it is certain to be a good choice and you're gonna like it and it's gonna feel good, but it comes from having to end something first. Okay, good. So <laughs> you are so smart, Sagittarius, especially this week. Um, this 10 of swords is again, the minor arcana of the death card. This can be um, an indicator of an on again, off again relationship. This can be um, cutting out things that no longer serve a purpose in your life. Um, this would be something that you've known for a long time that you needed to cut out or a person that you've known for a long time just simply didn't really belong um, in your space, in your time anymore. Um, and it feels like you're making that choice and it feels like you're making a choice to honor yourself. Um, very good. There's a certain level of toxicity that comes with this Ten of Swords. I always call it the um, Julius Caesar card because, you know, like nine stabs in the back wasn't good enough. Let's just go ahead and do it one more time, right? Um, and I think that you're finally starting to see that. And I think you are starting to operate from a much um, healthier perspective. And it starts this week. Very good, Sagittarius. Oh, and I've got another ace. I got the ace of swords out here and I got the five of wands here. So you've got three aces out here. This ace of swords is someone who is communicating this ending to a person. Um, you thought long and hard about what you wanted to say, how you wanted to say it. You thought about the pros and the cons of this relationship, this situationship. And I, okay, so I, I was saying that you were done with this relationship, but maybe you are just ending it this week. I'm um, ending a situation this week. It feels like this is the week when you make this choice to remove yourself um, emotionally, mentally, physically from, from extract yourself from this. And you thought long and hard about it. You, you gave every bit of yourself to this situation as long as you could. And then you realized it wasn't getting any better. And there was all this conflict all the time and it didn't seem what, like what anything you did made it better. And so you're saying, okay, now's time, 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 time. And I have the three of wands. This is somebody who says, okie dokie, now I'm open to new offers, new opportunities. Um, bring it. What is going to come next? Um, this three of wands is the minor arcana of the magician for me as a reader. This is the Amazon Prime card. How much longer is it going to take for my new future to arrive? That's you. Okay, Sagittarius, let us use this manga tarot to clarify. Tell me what this new Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles energy is coming towards you. Um, I have the Four of Pentacles on the inside of the deck. That's what I was looking at twice there. Um, that's the energy of somebody that held on for a long time, possibly because they were afraid that they couldn't have more, wouldn't have a new opportunity. Maybe they felt like they didn't deserve better or didn't deserve more, or they were just afraid of what the future would hold without that in their life. It feels like you've kind of moved on from that. You're no longer afraid of that. And you say, be gone with you, whatever you are. And I'm ready for something new. Let's look. I have the justice in the reverse, um, which is the card of Libra, which is the time that we're in right now. Um, this could have just recently happened or it's about to happen this month, this ending. Um, this justice in the reverse can indicate divorce, which is a horrible, horrible thing. And I would not wish that on anyone, um, but it's an energy of filing paperwork or it can be an energy of <sighs> having to remove yourself from situations that were either hostile or unfair in some way when we have the justice in the reverse. Very similar energy to that Ten of Swords. Um, now I have the Two of Wands, though. They say, this is somebody who says, okay, well, now I'm open to a new partnership in some way. Um, this doesn't have to be related to a marriage or a romantic relationship either. This can be related to a workplace dynamic or... 
you know, anything. It's, and they're just energies and stories. So you take them as they resonate in your life if they do at all. So we have the two of wands here, which is very similar to this three of wands. This is somebody who says, I now have a lot to offer to another person. I have the whole world in my hands. Who will join me, right? And this three of wands says, how much longer is this going to take? Mm-hmm, okay. Now I have the King of Wands, which is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, and it crosses the middle of your entire reading here. So way to go showing up for yourself. Very nicely done, Saggy. Um, but this is somebody who's now questioning what it is that they really, really want. What do they really, really want for their lives? The King of Wands is a real go-getter. When they see something that they want, they go after it and they don't think about it first. They just go and they take what they want. They're very sure of themselves. Now, we have you coming out on your side, which means that you're kind of questioning yourself a little bit. It's possible with this Justice in the Reverse and this Ten of Swords um, card that comes out on its side, whatever this is you're having to remove yourself from, um, it feels like you're recognizing how the choices that you have made consistently have not been good for yourself. And you're starting to examine the patterning there and you're starting to say, hmm, how do I work from a different place in myself so I don't continue to attract the same things, the same people, the same scenarios in my life any longer. It feels like you're starting to ask yourself those challenging questions of like say you are say you are leaving a relationship and you do feel like you're ready to start opening yourself to new partnership opportunities. This would be you saying how do I avoid attracting the same types of relationships into my life? How do I change my, my own frequency so that I start attracting a more a healthier or more positive frequency to me? These are the kind of questions I think you're asking yourself this week, Sagittarius. And here I have the star card. That's the card of Aquarius. Um, but this is, I always call it Pandora's box. This is somebody who understands that what is meant for them can't be taken away from them. This is somebody who understands the nature of the universe. This is someone who understands that in their life, they're going to experience the good, the bad, and the ugly. And all of those things make us up entirely into the people that we are. And so all of these um, relationships that you have experienced that have been filled with some toxicity or challenge challenge um, have only helped you become the person that you now are and now we have this brand new beginning we have and this new opportunity for a brand new beginning we have you really questioning the choices that you're making in love and now this is where I start to get really excited for you Sagittarius because I'm like okay well then who is coming towards you anybody I can't tell oh the sun so we have the card of Leo and I've got the Knight of Cups. So you may actually be looking for someone with um, a zodiac sign of Leo um, to be coming towards you. And with this Knight of Cups, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is someone who reaches out to you. Um, you're not going to have to try. You can just simply sit there and be your fabulous self, Sagittarius, and just be good looking and it will all work out just fine. Okay, that's all you have to do is just be yourself and be good looking. You're good. You know how to do that. You don't even have to try. You're easy. All right, with this Sun card, though, this is somebody who... Um, um, who is going to be very attractive to you. And there's going to be a magnetic attraction here. Like I said, you will magnetize this person to yourself as long as you are being your authentic self. There you have it. I think you know that. I think you understand that. And I think that this is just an opportunity for you to sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the in-flight movie because whatever is coming towards you, it's authentically coming towards you. And with this, this level of magnetic attraction, you really don't have to try Sagittarius. And you've been through quite a lot. So you can see now how you have magnetized yourself to things in the past. And I can see that you're now making changes in yourself so that you attract something different in the future. You're, you're going to know it when you see it. It's going to hit you. I'm seeing like somebody getting hit in the head with a brick, but I, like not in a bad way, like something that kind of knocks your eyes wide open. In fact, um, I think that you won't be able to miss them. How about that? Yeah. All right. See you next week, Sagittarius. Thanks for letting me read for you. Next up, we have Ophiuchus. Now, Ophiuchus is someone who is born between November 29th and December 17th. We are going to use this star power to row for Ophiuchus. Okay. 
Okay. I have the lovers and the page of pentacles. Alrighty. So it looks like, well, I mean, this could be a couple of different things if the kiss hold on. No, nope, it is what it is. Alrighty. Um, so what I was gonna say, and it looks like I was right. Um, it feels like you have a new opportunity, a new love relationship coming towards you, Ophiuchus. Um, with this page of pentacles, this is someone who's starting all over. This would be someone you've never met before, someone you've never known before. Um, this is someone who wants to offer, um, or this could be your energy towards another person, but quite honestly, this feels like someone coming towards you. Um, this Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Page of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be those signs, but just in case it is a significance, also the Lovers is the card of Gemini. Um, but really, this is about someone who you you haven't met before, someone you haven't really experienced much of before coming towards you and wanting to um, create some new love relationship with you. Two of Cups in the reverse. Hold on. Ace of Pentacles. All right, so here's the deal. I feel like you have experienced some relationships in the recent past, Ophiuchus, that have soured you on love in some way. Um, and I think that you're actually at the point now where you don't want to extend yourself towards anyone romantically at all. I think you're taking a break from romantic relationships. I think that you just, you're, I'm getting like soured, um, like a sour feeling in your mouth, like something soured you on them. Um, this, there's somebody who does want to reach out to you. They want to come towards you, but you have experienced some kind of a loss in the recent past. You may have relocated. Um, you may have kind of been forced to let go of a relationship. Um, whatever it was, again, it, it leaves a, a distaste in my mouth. Um, but this Ace of Pentacles is um, a brand new beginning that you're offering to yourself. And I think you're in the midst of um, kind of reinvesting in yourself and re-examining who it is that you want to be. And in the meantime, we have someone who has their eye on you and they want to reach out to you and um, contact you and possibly ask you out, go, get together with you, something like that. And I think they've wanted to for a while. I think they've been watching you for a little while. I don't think you know that they have happen and I think that um I just think you're largely unaware of their feelings about this however I feel like this person has thought long and hard about when the time would be right to reach out to you and they're feeling like now is the time however I think that you might be kind of invested in your own state of independence and your own state of healing for some reason I think they don't know that okay I think we have you got it you got it all right let me get another deck and we're going to clarify for you let's use this tarot of wonderland how about that how about that and i got the ace of wands out for you guys too um, you may want to pop up and watch the Sagittarius reading. I always try to read Ophiuchus right between Scorpio and Sagittarius or vice versa, um, just depending upon where you guys fall in the lineup because you're kind of sandwiched um, right between the two signs. So sometimes you may want to hop up and watch the Scorpio or hop up and watch the Saggies. Um, the Sagittarius reading, the reason I bring it up is they have the Ace of Wands in there as well. Um, this, is a, this is a very passionate love relationship coming towards you, someone you would be highly attracted to. Um, I think that may change your perspective on wanting to stay single for very long. I get the impression, whoever you are, Ophiuchus, that you, um, it's, it's not really occurring to you to want to get back out there and date right now. Um, Queen of Cups, man, this person might actually um, open your heart up again. Uh, surprisingly so. Okay. Six of Cups. All right. Fair enough. Um, this person that's coming towards you, Ophiuchus, they are, um, they have very honest intentions. Um, you have the Six of Cups that comes out here on its side. I think that you recognize one another for a lot of, um, for a soulmate relationship. Soulmates, they are in our lives for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, right? And we don't just have one. You'll have several. They don't always have to be romantic. In this case, it does feel like this is one that's coming towards you. Um, and I think that this may be someone who kind of cracks your heart wide open again and encourages 
encourages you to start loving again in a way that you haven't in a very long time. And I think it's rather unexpected. I think that you have been kind of bebopping along here, being single, being independent, being on your own for a while, and just trying to create stability in your own life, grow your own um, goals. And I think that in the meantime, this person's had their eye on you. And yes, I've got the six of wands. This person, they're gonna feel real good about themselves if you say yes to them. And I think, <sighs> King of Pentacles, hmm, that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, this person, I think they want to provide some kind of stability for you that in their own way. I think that they may they may be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, one of those three signs, may, not necessarily. This may be someone who's a little bit older than you. This may be someone who is financially well off in some way. I, now I've got the King of Wands, and so you may meet them while you're at work, incidentally, because I have that Eight of Pentacles side note. Um, this King of Wands energy is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. They may also be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, you've got two kings here. It's possible that all of a sudden you have, may have more than one option. Oh, no. Um, that may be part of this lover's energy here because the lover's is having to make a, a choice of, in a love relationship. Um, I think this whole time you've just been kind of doing your own thing. And all of a sudden, here comes this whole lot of love energy towards you, Ophiuchus, and you may be forced with a choice here, whoever this, there's one of them that will stand out above the others. Um, mm. Two of Pentacles is an energy of juggling. It can indicate juggling more than one person at a time. I do not think that you are inclined to do that, Ophiuchus. Whenever we have it in the reverse, this is somebody who says, oh no, I do not think I'm capable of that. Um, I, think, I think that you're gonna have to, um, I don't think that's gonna be a possibility for you. I think that you're gonna have to let one of these situations go from your life. Hangman. That's the um, card of Pisces here. I think that you're not in a hurry. And so you don't mind waiting for the right thing to present itself, Ophiuchus. I think that you are very wise. I think that it, your wisdom comes from a lot of challenging situations in the past. I think you've always grown a lot from the relationships you've experienced. And I think that that is why we have all of a sudden these mature energies coming towards you in love, um, where we've gone from the knight to now being these kings here. Um, this whole time, the reason that this is coming towards you now is because for some time you've been investing simply in yourself, um, your own self-growth, your own self-worth, um, what you want to do with your life, your goals, your dreams, how you can help yourself and your family and your community around you. You've been trying to create um, healthy balance in your life as well as do good things in the world around you. And I think that that authenticity is kind of bleeding out from you, your energy and other people are starting to pick up on that. I think that's why you all of a sudden have a lot of opportunities and options coming towards you. However, I think that there is one option that's going to be particularly attractive to you and one that's going to be highly magnetic towards you. Um, and I think that it's going to be very reciprocal. And I think it's coming around soon, much sooner than you were expecting. All right. That was your reading for the week. Ophia kiss. Very sweet. I love it. Um, next up, we have Scorpio. First of our water signs. We are going to use this um, Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti for Scorpio. I have the world card out on its side for Scorpio too. This has been a popular energy tonight, this world card. So the world card is the card of Libra and this is an energy of someone who Whenever we have it on its side, this is someone who's just about ready to take the leap. This is someone who recognizes that their life is about to change. This is someone who's kind of straddling. Um, it's almost like 
the day before your 20th birthday that's like no longer a teenager or maybe the day before your 18th birthday or or something i don't know um it's like getting ready to move into the next phase it's like the night before graduation or something i have the moon in the reverse um the moon is the card of cancer you've got two majors out already this tells me this is a really important time in your life um we have this Cancerian energy that is representing a lot of underlying issues coming up to the surface so they can be dealt with. This is um, this can often feel like a little emotionally overwhelming when we have a combination like this that comes out because the moon, it can pull up a lot of that inner child wounding that we haven't dealt with or um, you know scars from the past that haven't quite healed or underlying issues that we haven't dealt with personally. Um, this can indicate addictions, problems um, in relationships, just you know, all those those just run-of-the-mill toxicities that we carry around as baggage within ourselves from time to time. Um, but this would be a time that you're being asked to look at those and you're kind of cleaning house within yourself emotionally. Um, and it, this is really healthy. And it's because you know you're getting ready to make this transformation. Um, you have this King of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming towards you. Um, I think that you know that. I think that you recognize that... In order for you to move on to this new part of your life, you're going to have to heal some things. Hold on. I have the Page of Wands here. Um, I think you have this inner knowing that things are about to change and they're about to change rapidly. And I think that you're, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like deciding that you're going to get married next week. So you have to lose 20 pounds in five days in order to fit into your dress or something like that. Something that you're like, Oh, Oh golly, we better get started now. Or, um, you know, that kind of energy. I hope that's not the case. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune on its side. Um, okay, so here's what it is. I think that you have a really healthy relationship that is presenting itself to you. Um, if not, if you aren't already in it, I think it's on its way to you. And I think subconsciously you know that. We have this Wheel of Fortune card that comes out here. And this is an energy of you deciding what it is that you want in your life. And all of a sudden it starts happening for you, Scorpio. This is fantastic. This is a really good week for you. Um, I think that all of a sudden you're seeing like what you want your goals to be and I feel like you are almost feeling like you're having to play catch up like um almost like like running towards the finish line is sort of what it feels like um but when you get to the finish line you just have to start over so you don't get to stop when you get there you just keep going but I think that you feel like there's a goal that you need to meet um with this nine of pentacles in the reverse, it goes right with this moon card here. I think what you're really looking at are these codependencies that you developed in your childhood, um, or that's kind of what it feels like. And that's specific to each person. You'll have to decide what that means for you. Um, but this is an energy that you're kind of done with. You see that you can't keep it any longer. You don't want to hold on to it any longer. And so I think that this is the week you're deciding to take action and heal this in yourself, whether it means reaching out and having a challenging conversation with someone or, you know, um, um, maybe seeking some kind of counseling or maybe just being honest with um, a partner or a friend as to how you're doing, how you're feeling. There's just an energy of healing and you just being very honest with yourself. And that's very, very good. Good job, Scorpio. And I have the Page of Wands that comes out on top of the Page of Wands. Nicely done. Um, this is somebody who understands that in order for this new beginning to take place, they're going to have to take some kind of action. Um, like I was saying about this Wheel of Fortune, I always think of the hamster wheel where we have to have you start it. You've got to start the little hamster legs on the little hamster wheel to get it moving. And you're the one who decides which direction you go in. And with this Page of Wands out here, this is someone who has they understand that they have to be the spark in whatever this healing is and you understand that there's kind of a rush to get to it um because this king of cups energy is coming quickly towards you now this nine of swords comes out with this page of wands where you feel like by i feel almost like you need to reach out and express yourself to someone who you had felt 
maybe contributed to some of this codependency in your life and like telling honest truths about how you felt about yourself or how you felt about some things. I mean, this may be you um, discussing this with a counselor or someone, a spiritual mentor of some, time, some kind. Um, it's, it's getting things off your chest. It's like puncturing the balloon, right? Um, it's like letting all of the yucky old stuff out. It's like, it, it's time. It feels like it's time because you can tell that there's something better coming towards you. I like it. And this is a heavy energy of you learning how to express your emotions this week, Scorpio. And now I have the Page of Cups here. It's like as soon as you release this energy and this emotion, um, and, and really this comes with an apology or an offer of love, offer of kindness, or an offer of forgiveness to maybe some, other, some of these people who have damaged you in the past. Or maybe if you feel like you have been holding on to some things that maybe you have done to someone else and you want to seek healing there. There's this energy of absolution that comes with this page of um, cups here you've got three pages out here which are energies of things that have maybe happened to you in childhood or energies of um, immaturity or something like that um, and it just feels like you are ready to move past that move into the next phase of your life it feels like this is the week you start being very honest with yourself now about this king of cups energy I've got the Ace of Pentacles. I love it. Um, Ace of Pentacles can be a few different things. It can be the energy of, it can be an engagement ring. It can be a brand new beginning, whatever it is. It is something authentic, something that is authentic to you and something that will surely grow into something much more profitable, much more prosperous than anything you've experienced in the past. With this King of Cups energy, which is actually Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, which is you, um, this is an energy of someone who's freed up emotionally, um, someone who's able to express themselves more easily and someone who experiences a lot of healing in a way that makes a lot of sense for them. There's going to be a lot of positive growth here between you and whoever is coming into your life. And this looks like a really positive, wonderful dynamic. I love it. Um, some of you may be actually being proposed to this week. There may be, um, and if that's not the case, this is an energy of, um, like I was saying, a real stable, brand new beginning or within, within a relationship that you can rely on, you can count on it because it feels so right and feels so good to you. And it really comes from you healing all of those inner child issues or whatever that is that you felt like you were kind of carrying around. And this is the week that you start working on that. So good job, Scorpio. Thanks for letting me read for you. Um, next week, next up, we have Pisces. Um, Pisces, we're going to use this um, Night Sun Tarot for you. I get the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, Pisces, that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy in the reverse. Um, hmm. uh, this could be someone who is a little upset with their home life. This could be someone who's struggling a little bit um, either to make ends meet financially or this can be someone who just doesn't feel like they, they could be feeling a little like they're spread too thin, either at work or at home. This could be someone who's kind of struggling to keep up with the day-to-day -day simply because they have too much going on. This is someone who's maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed this week. And I've got the Ace of Cups on its side. Um, don't fret if that's you, if that's the case. Um, this Ace of Cups is you remembering who you are and the people around you love you very, very much, whoever you are, um, Pisces. This is someone who has a lot to give to others and people appreciate you. Um, I hear that you're beautiful. I hear that you have beautiful eyes too. Um, and also that there's just a lot of unconditional love that you give to the people who are around you. And I'm wondering if perhaps you've been a little bit hard on yourself this week, Pisces, or if you've been feeling just a little overwhelmed and if maybe you weren't 100% on top of things like your usual perfect self and maybe it kind of got to you a little bit. I don't think other people are seeing you that way. Let me look, hold on. I have this um, Eight of Wands in the reverse, and I also have um, 
the nine of wands. So it feels like you have kind of been a little bit buttoned up with your communication with people around you, Pisces. It feels like you haven't been talking to others. You've been self-isolating a little bit and maybe, um, oh, possibly being a little bit passive aggressive with the way that you've been dealing with your emotions please um do not consider it please don't think of that as a judgment in any way um uh passive aggressive in the sense that um you're not entirely sure how to express yourself and you're tired of feeling feeling this way and so maybe it's just kind of coming out in like little spurts and and you're not loving it and maybe this is just kind of how this week went or how this weekend went um, and you're being a little bit hard on yourself I've got the nine of wands up here which is someone who's kind of been keeping people at an arm's distance for a little while um, but other people aren't seeing you this way other people are recognizing that not everyone can be perfect a hundred percent of the time and from what I understand, you typically are so, um, I don't know, it feels like you keep everything kind of down for everyone else's benefit. Oftentimes you feel and other people feel and all of a sudden something came out and maybe surprised you a little. I have the three of wands here. There's somebody who's trying to manifest a better day, a brighter day. Um, this is someone who wants to make positive, healthy changes in their lives. And they're just a little frustrated. I'm hearing frustrated that things haven't been happening fast enough. It may be causing, um, like I was saying, just kind of like mini frustrations to come out temper tantrum -y kind of feelings I'm not saying like full-blown temper tantrum but like little little irritations I have the hanged man you're tired of waiting on other people you're tired of waiting for other people to pick up the slack here's the thing about this queen of pentacles in the reverse energy this is somebody it's not like usually they're in the upright this is what i'm saying usually this person's in the upright position usually they are so nurturing they're so kind they're so good to everyone around them but for whatever reason they feel like they're spread too thin it feels like um and it's hurting your heart to have to feel that way at all it feels like you're very tender pisces whoever i'm reading for with this hanged man that comes out on its side, you're waiting for other people to figure it out and pick up the slack. It's not happening. I think it's more likely to happen after this weekend, whatever happened. Um, and yes, I have the five of wands. This is somebody who says, like, and I have to do this and I have to do that. And this is somebody who's like made the lists of like, these are all the things I'm seeing just like an awful lot of red here. Like someone who's extremely frustrated because whatever this situation is, it's thrown off their stability. It's thrown off their life in some way. Let me get this Chicoli deck to clarify. It's frustrating to you and I don't blame you, whatever this is. This could be in a relationship at home. This could be at work. Um, this could be your dynamic with a partner or with, even with children or family. Nine of Wands out again. That's that Wounded Warrior card. We've had that out here twice for you. So now we have you self-isolating and like I was saying, a little bit possibly passive aggressive, okay, um, about this. So just check yourself about that and just kind of recognize that you'll probably get more positive results if you're honest with people about how you're feeling. Um, although I understand the impulse to just be frustrated. I get it. I have the Ten of Pentacles here. You're saying, damn right, this is affecting my home life. This is affecting my stability. It's specific to a home. This is somebody who's like, I, like I'm like i seeing people who are frustrated by people who put their laundry next to the laundry hamper, but not in the laundry hamper. That kind of dynamic, that's kind of what I'm seeing. And it's like those little things that have like chipped away and chipped away and chipped away. This is rather specific, Pisces. I have the Wheel of Fortune. This has been a really popular energy as well. Um, this Wheel of Fortune on its side has come out for a lot of different zodiac signs. What I think about this, this Wheel of Fortune is the card of Sagittarius, but it's really an energy of making changes in your life. This is an energy of um, karma. This is an energy of luck 
and this is um, the future that you create by the way that you by the energy that you spin this wheel with now sometimes we control the wheel and then sometimes the wheel kind of controls us um, but in this particular case when it comes out on its side this tells me that you're kind of at this point Pisces where if something doesn't give things are gonna to start to crumble. And I think that that's where the frustration's coming from. It's not that you're just throwing little hissy fits about the laundry or hissy fits about somebody not picking up and taking, you know, not picking up the slack where it's needed. It's really that you've been experiencing this slow chipping away for a while and it's started to accumulate to the point that now we need to address it. Otherwise, that little drip is gonna come on a full leak and we're gonna have a problem. And I think that you are are recognizing that you're the one who's going to have to be in the driver's seat as far as like communicating about this situation, communicating your feelings in this situation. And I think this is the week that you make a decision as to whether or not you're going to turn this wheel into the upright position or into the reverse. And it feels like it's all about your choice this week, Pisces, as to whether or not you start talking about your feelings. I think other people around you love you very much. There's a lot to love about you, Pisces. There really is. And I think that other people see your beauty, they see your light, and they love to be around you. You're so nurturing, you're so good at everything that you do. It's true, um, but I think that sometimes you feel taken advantage of. And I think that you, and I think that sometimes it's because you are taken advantage of a little bit. And I think maybe even a lot of it. And I think that you're tired of it. And I think that this is the week where you start to express yourself and you start to say, you know what? No, there's more to my life than just this. And either we get in line and we, I start to see some changes because I'm tired of this dynamic or we're going to make some changes and because I'm tired of this dynamic. And I think that you get real serious about this. I think you get real honest about this. And I think that people are going to be inclined to listen to you. Now, with that nine of wands out there twice, we do kind of have you a little bit definitely self-isolating and a little bit in a pity party state right now, a little bit mopey, a little bit upset. And I think that you're not going to stay in that state for more than a day um, because I think that you are starting to understand that you want to see positive change. And in order to get that done, you're going to have to communicate. And I I think that you will and I think that we'll see next week which way you intended to swing it because like I said it's gonna have to change that's the energy of the wheel of fortune it's an energy of change all right that's your reading for the week Pisces nicely done I'll see you guys next week and last of the night we have cancer thank you guys so much for hanging into the end here cancer I'm gonna use this deviant moon tarot for you thank you guys all so much to those of you who moderate um, and those of you who drop down comments below I'm sorry that I don't get to reading them until later it's because um, as you can see I talk really quickly and I try to focus on the cards and um, so I don't get to all the car comments but I really appreciate you all and if you want to book a personal reading with me all that information is around here somewhere and you're welcome to and uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube when I timestamp it that information is all in the about section of that channel all right so cancer what do we have for you guys oh no so I have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and I have the Five of Cups here. And I have the world on its side. I think the world card is probably the most popular card we've had out tonight. These are people who are dealing with endings, things coming to an end because it's time for them to come to an end. Um, and the world is the final card in the major arcana of Tarot. So we know that in order for us to start the next cycle of our life, we have things we have to complete. We have unfinished business. We have things that have been brushed under the rug. We have relationships that need uh, mending or they need to be removed from our lives. We know that we have um, new opportunities that are coming towards us, but we won't have space for them until we make space for them. And that is the energy of the world. Now, when I have this 10 of wands that comes out in the reverse, we have someone that's just experienced a tremendous loss in some way because something's fallen apart. We have someone who was, it's almost like pulling this huge pile of logs up a hill, right? Only to find them fall down and roll down to the bottom again. Um, this is somebody, and, and giving up. This is someone who's had to give up because they recognized that they weren't strong enough to do it in the first place or that it was too much for them in some way with this five of cups that comes out with it. That's the card of, I always call it the card of emotional insanity. Obviously I'm not a medical doctor, I know. Um, so, it's this energy though of someone who is so tired of hearing 
it's, it's constant nagging, but it's also the same things every single day. It's like day in, day out. It's this constant shaming, constant upset, this constant upheaval. Um, and it's like hearing about the same problems day in and day out and um, getting sick of it, getting tired of being berated or, or something. Um, and this is understanding that it's time to move on from whatever this situation is. And it really feels like it's something that's already fallen apart. And now it's just time to pick up the pieces from it is what I'm hearing. And I have the Four of Swords. We have a separation or having to take a break from this situation. Um, the Four of Swords is a lucky break. Um, it's kind of the energy of dodged a bullet. It's, um, it's a fortunate break. It's time for a timeout so that you can express gratitude for the things that you do have now. This is someone who got out before things got too bad. Um, like I said, it feels like something's fallen apart around you and it feels like it was hmm, hold on four of pentacles we could have someone that's trying to hold on to finances i was gonna say this could have something i it was feeling like this ten of wands could be it's like the energy of the rug being pulled out from under you but i'm not entirely sure if it's because of another person's actions or if it's because of your actions like if it was your choice in any case we have something that's fallen apart and it feels like it was time for it to fall apart because you didn't want to stay in that space any longer now there's someone here who's very much fearful of letting go of someone or something um can be worried about finances can be trying to hold on to finances we could have someone who's worried about um letting go of someone else other people but there is an energy of separation And I have the Six of Swords here. This is all, and this was also, this has been very popular tonight as well, Cancer, is this um, Six of Swords coming out on its side. This can be a forced relocation in some way. It can be the energy of um, being evicted or um, having to relocate because of a loss of a partnership or something, um, even just loss of a job or something. This is kind of this is kind of heavy energy but usually when we um get the world card out it's because we're being asked to wrap up cycles we're being asked to clear out old karma being asked to tie up loose ends yeah for sure and it's it's creating space for us to move forward possibly to even relocate to a new place right um and definitely if it's not about physical relocation it's definitely like an emotional um change a change of state of mind i'm going to use a different deck here to clarify let's use this star power tarot to clarify wow okay um, so I have the Six of Swords out here twice now. The Six of Swords is, again, about that relocation. This can be having to move with a heavy heart. This is taking only the things that are of the utmost importance with you um, and leaving everything else behind. This is someone who's traveling um, to get away from something that was very painful, very stressful. Um, it's leaving shallow, murky waters and and pushing off into calmer seas. Okay, very good. But it is a major change. And with the King of Cups that comes out here, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is you. This is someone who is really struggling to express their emotions about this. You may be feeling emotionally overwhelmed by this decision, by having to make this choice in some way. Um... I have the Justice card. That's the card of Libra. This is something that's happening for you this month. It would seem cancer. Um, this Justice card can be the energy of divorce. It can be the energy of legal paperwork. It feels like if you have a courtroom situation or something, um, it's not going to be the worst verdict, but it's not necessarily going to be the best either. Um, it's something that seeks to be right down the middle in some way, but this justice energy coming out on its side is someone who is trying to make it through the month, just trying to make it through um, this month in some way. Um, 
I have the Four of Pentacles out twice. I love it when you give me the repeat cards. You know I do. Um, this is someone who feels like they have a lot of people watching them and judging them right now. This is somebody who feels like they're struggling to hold on to... I hate to say this, but because this is rather specific, so I don't know if this is for you or if this is someone around you, Cancer, you'll have to decide. And it, if this doesn't resonate with you, well, good. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the Four of Pentacles is someone who's struggling to hold on to things financially or tr struggling to hold on to stability in some way. Um, specific to this star power tarot, it feels like someone who is worried about what other people are thinking of them. There's always this energy of judgment. It feels like when I get that card, out. Oh boy. I have the nine of cups in the reverse. Um, the nine of cups in the reverse can be an energy of over drinking. And whenever it comes out with this strength card, which is the card of Leo, it feels like you're asking yourself to move on possibly from some addictive behaviors, whether it's in, within yourself or that, something that you're seeing within another person. It feels like you may be taking a time out. You may be taking a forced time out in some way um, with that four of swords energy there. Um, this could be someone around you. This can also, again, be a forced relocation. You may be going into a rehabilitation program or something like that or someone in your environment maybe this could be why we have had things fall apart here with this ten of wands in the reverse where we've had the whole cart being kind of upturned and spilled out have the Ten of Cups on its side. This is somebody who recognizes that their entire life's happiness is wrapped up in this relocation or in this change. Um, this is something that you're willing to commit to because you recognize what's at stake here, whether for yourself or for other people around you. This is somebody who puts, um, starts putting one foot in front of the other and starts focusing on a happier, better goal for themselves. This is someone who wants a brighter future for themselves. Unfortunately, for a long time, you haven't been able to to see what that could possibly look like for you. And so it's been hard for you to focus on that. You've been dealing with a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy energy, not just for the last year, not just for the last two years, but it really feels like I mean, we've been looking at a cycle here, about a nine-year cycle of just continual upheaval for you, whoever you are, Cancer, and it feels like there's been so little stability in your life that you don't even know what stability is supposed to look like anymore. And I think that you're somebody who, if this is in fact your reading, you're someone who's saying, you know what, enough, I surrender to this, and um, I need some help, I need some guidance, I need some assistance in this, and I think that's where the strength comes from. You're never going to be asked to be brave unless there's a reason unless there's something to be afraid of right and that's when we find out who is brave that's when we find out who is strong and oftentimes um, that's when we rely on our friends to help us we rely on our loved ones we rely on other people for support cancer and I feel like now is the time that you recognize that and you start reaching out for guidance for support for stability whatever that means for you whoever that means for you and I feel like that is really where you start to shine is when you say you know what you're right go ahead I would love to have whatever guidance Guidance, I can get whatever help I can get in this situation. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is a team that comes together. We have a team that forms in order to help um, this situation heal, in order to get this situation off the ground, to, in order to get you to safety, whatever that means. And then all of a sudden, we have this Ten of Cups that starts coming towards you, that we start to make lemonade out of lemons again. And all of a sudden, we start to see a shift and a change. But boy, howdy, it's been a challenge to get there. All right, so this is going to be a challenging week for you to get through. I think that there will be some ups and some downs, and I think that there is going to be a lot of movement forward for you emotionally, mentally, and possibly even physically. And I think that there's this energy of learning to let go of control and also learning to accept help and accept change. And I think that this is the week that you figure that out for yourself. And I think that this propels you towards a lot of positive growth for the future, but this may be a challenging week 
family for you're asking yourself to be strong or maybe this is you be having to be strong for someone else you'll know how this resonates for you if it does at all thank you cancer for letting me read for you thank you all so much for hanging in there with me tonight i really appreciate you all again please reach out if i can help you in any way if you're interested in going to the ren fest and um, the ravenwood fair um that is october 15th 16th and 17th and there should be information on the key facebook page about that um, and i will continue to post links um so that you can find that information in the future all right i will see you guys soon have a wonderful week ahead